Kelsey, if he did this to you, he is not worth crying over. I'm, I'm crying over my job. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the stars who lost roles due to pregnancy. Unfortunately, like all good things, it must come to an end. I can't stay. This isn't me anymore. Mom, Dad, I know the path that I may have chosen is going to be difficult. But I don't care. I know it's going to be okay. For this list, we'll be looking at actresses who really did lose their jobs because they were going to have a baby. We will not be including someone like Jamie Lynn Spears, however, as she has dispelled the rumors that she was fired from Zoe 101 because she got pregnant. Did you know about these behind-the-scenes stories? Let us know in the comments. Number 7. Kari Wurr Soap operas are known for their exaggerated storylines and crazy plot twists, so having to work in an actress's pregnancy would seem to be an easy day at the office. Well, not so for General Hospital, apparently. In fact, over the years, a number of women have come forward claiming that they were fired from the show when they became pregnant. This includes Kari Wurr, who did more than just make the claim. She sued ABC. You want me? Come and get me. Wurr alleged that her character was killed off when the company learned that she was pregnant, and she had backup. Former GH actress Leslie Kay said that she was also fired when she got pregnant and that she would testify in the case as well. Oh yeah, payback's a bitch, isn't it? Let me go, justice! Go! Number 6. Hilary Duff Back in 2011, Duff was cast to play Bonnie Parker in the story of Bonnie and Clyde. Why not? Take yourself from the sky. Why not? Why not? Spread your wings and fly. The biopic was going to be a remake of the classic Oscar-nominated 1967 film Bonnie and Clyde, starring Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. However, during pre-production, Duff found out that she was pregnant with her first child. Duff still really wanted to make the movie, and asked the producers if they could wait until she gave birth, or even try to shoot around the growing baby bump. I'd rather work extra hard at something I do love, even if it takes a little longer. But they said no. They really wanted to get going on the film and told her they couldn't wait. So she was fired. Who did they cast instead? We don't know, because they still haven't made the movie. Because waiting for you is like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless and disappointing. Number 5. Lisa Bonet A Different World was a spin-off of The Cosby Show and featured Bonet's character Denise Huxtable heading off to college. And I'm sure that you have grown a lot from that and you're probably mm. thinking about what you're going to do next with your life. You know, as a matter of fact, I want to talk to you guys about that. Now, if you remember watching A Different World but don't remember Denise, that probably means you started watching the show in Season 2. That's because Bonet got pregnant during the summer between the first and second seasons. My dad always says, um, if you feel strongly about something, then just to follow your instinct. After one day. Well, he also says not to procrastinate. While show producer and frequent director Debbie Allen was interested in having a pregnant Denise on the show, Bill Cosby wasn't. Cosby reportedly said that, quote, Lisa Bonet is pregnant, but Denise Huxtable is not. Nobody's saying your way is wrong. <laughs> and with that, Bonet was fired. Number 4. Charisma Carpenter There has always been speculation that it was Charisma's pregnancy that led to her exit from Angel. But if this is the speech about how the worst is behind us, you may want to save it for later. Then, after Justice League actor Ray Fisher accused Joss Whedon of creating a cruel and abusive work environment, Carpenter released a statement about her own experiences. She supported Fisher's accusations and said that Whedon was the same back when she worked with him on Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. I haven't been hiding or ashamed or anything. It's just with the Beast and his psycho master and… She also revealed that when Whedon found out she was pregnant, he asked her if she was, quote, going to keep it, and he accused her of sabotaging the show. Basically, her pregnancy was messing with his creative vision. Apart from being without class, the guy's obviously blind. Deserves whatever he gets. I'm not even thinking about him. I am past it. I am living my life. He then went ahead and fired her the next season after she had given birth. Number 3. Isla Fisher The Now You See Me film series is about a group of criminal magicians. In the first film, they pull off bank heists during performances and give the money to the audience. This is all for show. 
correct him. Oh, I mean we're doing it on stage in front of a paying audience? Then yes, Whoa. it's for show. That's a pretty cool trick. But their biggest trick in the second film was making Isla Fisher disappear. Whoever thought of this is a sick sadist! Fisher was one of the stars of the first film. But when she got pregnant with her third child, the producers quickly replaced her, wrote a new female role, and hired Lizzie Kaplan. I mean, maybe she got sick of you. You ever think about that? Control issues? Maybe you just didn't tie her up tight enough. Ow. There is good news for Fisher fans, though. It looks like there will be a Now You See Me 3, and there are reports that Fisher's character will be back for the third installment. Number 2. Dana Plato It may take different strokes to move the world, but when Plato got pregnant, she was moved off the show. Let's face it, I bombed at bombs. <laughs> You're on the good side, Kimberly. They'll never forget you. Plato played Kimberly Drummond on different strokes from 1978 to 1984. But when she announced she was pregnant, the producers told her it was over. This is a show that had taken on some tough issues like alcoholism, kidnapping, and abuse. Look, I'm only 11 years old. Should I be hearing all of this? <laughs> Absolutely, Arnold. If more kids knew the facts, less of these things would happen. But a teen pregnancy didn't fit with Kimberly's image. So they shipped the character off to France. Ah, Perry, Mavia, absolute ma fantastic. After Plato gave birth, she only returned for a few cameos in the final couple of seasons. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hunter Tylo Do you remember the Bold and the Beautiful's Hunter Tylo on Melrose Place? You don't? because she got pregnant and was fired before filming an episode. Bitch, would you ask her to leave? Taylor. I don't have to leave. In 1997, Tylo sued Spelling Entertainment Group for pregnancy discrimination and breach of contract. The show claimed that her pregnancy would have made her, quote, too fat to play the vixen role. That was very insulting. I don't know how you could even allow that. However, Tylo was quick to point out that they used TV magic to hide Heather Locklear's pregnancy. To further prove her point that she could be pregnant and sexy, Tylo wore tight miniskirts to court throughout the trial. She was eight months pregnant, but reportedly it barely showed. She won her suit and was awarded almost $5 million by the court. Well, shall we get on with the party? Why not? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.